a self-sustaining, clean energy source that fits in the palm of your hand, powering a high-tech suit of armor and defying the laws of physics. Tony Stark's arc reactor is one of the coolest pieces of sci-fi tech ever imagined. But could we actually build it? The answer might shock you. Let's break it down. In the movies, the arc reactor is a miniaturized fusion device, originally designed by Howard Stark, then perfected by Tony. It uses palladium, and later, vibranium, to create a stable, ultra-efficient power source. But here's the problem. Real science says this is impossible, and here's why. First, fusion requires extreme conditions, millions of degrees of heat and immense pressure to fuse atoms, like in the sun. Real fusion reactors, like Tokamax, are massive and consume more energy than they produce, for now. Yet, the arc reactor does it in a tiny space with no external heat input. That breaks the first law of thermodynamics. Energy can't be created from nothing. Second, the arc reactor has no waste heat. In reality, even the most efficient energy systems lose energy as heat. That's the second law of thermodynamics. But Tony's reactor runs indefinitely with 100% efficiency. That's like a car engine that never heats up and never runs out of gas. And let's talk materials. Palladium can't sustain fusion and vibranium doesn't exist. Even if it did, containing that much energy in such a small device would require physics-defying materials, something we're centuries away from inventing, if ever. So, while the arc reactor is an incredible piece of cinematic science fiction, real-world physics says, not today, Stark. But hey, that's why we love movies. They let us dream beyond the limits of reality.